Welcome back everyone. Today, a little bit of a different project than the dozer. Got here a 1970 something Caterpillar D330 Series C diesel gen set. Picked this up from a house I was tearing down and it hasn't ran in at least that I know of 10 years. Who knows how long before that? That's just what I know. Let's go through it today, see if we can get it to fire up. Come on in, I'll show you what we got. So here's this unit. Don't know much about it. I do know only because I found a tag. It came out of the local school district. They were using it for who knows what, but I don't think it's ran a whole lot. When I found it, it was kind of in the back of this house slash auto repair shop that had been abandoned and it was covered with a tarp. Uh, I moved it out of that area maybe two years ago and then it sat without a tarp on it. So it does have <clears throat> got some rust going on up here. But down here it looks pretty clean. I don't know what we got here. This looks like some sort of I don't know what is that some sort of block heater they would have ran this to the building to keep it warm there's the serial number 4b1170 what's weird about this unit is that it does not have your typical cooling system i think they had this plumbed into city water or something like that so looking inside of here, let me get some light. You see that? It's kind of like a condenser type deal. So here's the actual water pump. And it pumps, you know, water in, pumps it through the engine, comes back out here. And then you got these two ports, which I think it's like a heat exchange type situation. I think if we do happen to get it running, what we can do is maybe temporarily put a garden hose or something in there. No fan on it, no radiator. Moving on over here, I have been tooling on it a little bit already. I added this here outlet box and put new battery cable leads on it just in preparation. Outlet box is just a disconnect for the battery, then a start button, then a stop button. The stop button is wired up to this fuel shutoff solenoid here. And I think originally this was activated like if it got low fuel pressure or low oil pressure or too high of a temp. <sighs> what else we got going on? We got uh, throttle here it looks like. Missing oil filter, or not oil filter, fuel filter should go here. Yeah, we'll have to get one of those. Uh, this looks like a priming pump. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I hear it over there. It's a pre-combustion chamber setup. Looks like that O-ring doesn't look too great there. Turbo. There's the exhaust. We'll have to flip that up. So we're not blowing exhaust down. Let's see if we can have a look at this tag here. So yeah, D330. 4.75 inch bore, 6 inch stroke. Then we've got the generator side. See if we can see anything there. So, 90 kilowatt. Pretty big generator. I mean, who doesn't need a 140 horsepower diesel generator at their home? All right, let's let's uh, let's see what we can figure out. Maybe we don't have a fuel tank. We'll have to figure something out there. Get some batteries hooked up. See if she'll start. 
Let's have a gander at the oil, see what it says. Nose is plugged, can't, can't smell it. She's a little black. Not terrible, let's see, this says engine idling hot oil, full engine stopped. So she's a little over full. It says do not overfill. But I think we'll be all right. So that's good, got oil. Before we get too carried away, let's put a wrench on the old crankshaft here. Give her a, see if she'll turn over. Inch and an eighth, ease it on. All right, baby, what are you gonna tell us? You wanna start today? Ooh, turns over pretty easy, actually. That's good. Oh, there's compression. Yep. She's turning over nice. We got a ratcheting. There's compression again. I think that was twice around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a chance. Let's see if we can get some fuel flowing through the old girl. I scooted down to the uh, auto parts store, picked up a filter after I did a little Google searching. So we'll get a filter on there. Then it looks like we have our, hmm, I think this is fuel return here. And then fuel in down here. Get the filter on. Let's plumb up these lines into a five gallon can. Today's filter is a Wix 33352. I pre-filled it with a little of the uh, lime flavored diesel, just so we don't have to sit here and <laughs> prime it for 50 minutes. What are you pups doing over there? Seems pretty good. Got a couple hose barbs here. So we'll put one here, one down there. We'll run some fuel line to a can somewhere. That should give us our fuel. Well, come on, what's your problem here? Just go in there. A little rusty, are you? You stupid. There you go. Just gotta talk nice to her. The old universal wrench on here. Mm -hmm. Got this, uh, what is this? Intech half inch line. Don't know if this is rated for fuel, but it's what I had. So that's what we're using. Get that on there, yep. That on there, yep be fine well I scooted back into town again for the eighth time got a little bit of the cherry flavored diesel this time so we'll use that we'll have a little cherry limeade concoction the filter is filled with the lime the jug is filled with the cherry I'm just kind of jam these in here well, what are those pups barking at? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, cherry versus lime, I'm talking about red diesel versus green or standard diesel. Seems to be green anymore. Red diesel is untaxed off-road use only. I use it in tractors and this type of stuff since it's cheaper by quite a bit, like 50 cents a gallon. So that's good, let's see if we can prime it up. Okay, fuel system. Got our priming hand pump here. Do a little back and forth. And then here's like the bleed screw, so I'm gonna crack that open. Then it's just got a tube that comes down. Don't know if you can see it and just goes here. I got a bucket underneath. We'll just give her a few pumps, see if we get any pressure on the gauge.
Is this in all the way? Should be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's fuel coming out there. Hear it dripping? If we close this, we build pressure. Oh, it's getting harder to push. Might be pushing. It's probably just pushing it through the line. I don't know if that'll work. If it doesn't start, maybe we'll crack the actual injector lines there. See if that works. But for now, got fuel, oil's good, engine's not seized. Need a couple batteries, I think. Went ahead and used the brain last night. Put a couple batteries on the charger. So these should be good to go. This is a 24 volt system. I know that because it says 24 volts on the starter over there. We will need a jumper wire here, positive and negative. Uh -huh. This is our positive. I taped it blue. Put that on there, that's good. This is our negative. Okay. Let me get a jumper wire there. Jumper wire, negative. It's pretty loose. Positive, it's just I don't hear anything sparking or anything. It's good. Get on there. Old terminal installation tool. Nope. It's probably good. Come on. Would you just tighten up? Seems like I should get a socket. Get these all mangled so they're impossible to get off. I think that's good enough. All right, let's review. We got our fuel hooked up. We got our batteries hooked up. We checked that the engine is not seized up. Uh, oil, there's oil in it. What else do we need to do? No, oh, let's flip over this exhaust. Maybe make a little stack for it. I actually made one up already. Nice. Ooh, lovely. Perfect. Not really. All right, we got our sweet stack on it. We got our batteries hooked up. Got our fuel filter installed we got our lines plumbed down what we don't have is any sort of cooling right now we'll worry about that if it fires i think we're ready uh should we check that air filter yeah we better check it just to make sure no mice have gotten in there a napa filter I see the compressor wheel. No, no chunks of anything. I think that's good. I think we're ready to try it. If it does fire, I'm gonna shut it off pretty quick because we don't have any cooling. I wanna see some engine oil pressure get built up, fuel pressure, if it does fire, We'll see if we can figure out some way to plumb some water into this. It is a little chilly out this morning, so, and I don't see any glow plugs, so hopefully she'll go. Let's give it a shot. My battery disconnect switch. Okay. Give her some throttle there. Good. Here we go. Oh, 
pressure. She tried to fire there. We got, I think we just need more fuel up there. I don't want to run that starter for too long. And what time is it? Neighbors probably don't like it. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Sweet. So looking here, I think we need to fill this with antifreeze or water or whatever. I think we just plumb in a garden hose here, put some sort of so the water flows out, then we can feed her the onions. Okay, here's what I came up with. Going from inch and a half to garden hose, I've got eight miles of fittings. So we'll plug that in there. Put the garden hose in there. Then on the bottom, we'll just put a you know a nipple on there and some hose just to not flood our immediate working area here. In the future, you could probably I don't know, you'd have to get some sort of radiator or something. Maybe you could use this pump and pump it through a radiator. Come on out. That's probably tight enough for our purposes. Then I got this little short piece of spa hose or whatever. I'll just put this on there just so it's not dumping water straight down. There we go. Let me get a garden hose and hook it up, get some water in here. Where do you drain this thing? Well, how much are you gonna take? Hook our hose up to here now. Okay. Wanna just make a huge mess here. It's fine. Let's fire it up again, warm it up, then give her some throttle. Let her chew on a little diesel for a while. See what she does. Here we go. In contact. over here. Oh, is that crack? Probably just tie these two together. I think that's like a heater pump or something. So far this gate hasn't moved. Let's give her a little more throttle.
cool down a little for a few minutes. Don't really want to run her wide open for too long. There's no load on it. What we got for blow by coming out here? Nothing. Smoking just a touch. Need to get a load on her see if she can clean herself up a little bit. Well there we go guys. That uh, that started way easier than I thought it would. I think on my next video, what I wanna do is try to build some sort of load bank, maybe with some drier heating elements, something like that. I have not looked at the generator side of this machine, so who knows what we're gonna find, but I think, yeah, we do a load test on it, and then, I don't know, maybe sell it to a local farmer down the street or a little bit more than what I need. I guess I, you know, kind of cool to have around maybe run some three-phase equipment with it we need to figure out a better cooling system so we're not flooding out the entire area here I got just building a pond over here so I know it wasn't the dozer video we're working on it still got some parts coming don't you guys worry we'll get it going but still kind of cool to mess with this thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video where we do other cool stuff Thanks again, guys.